पढ़ती नहीं है Today's class is uh, infective endocarditis. That is, uh, the infective endocarditis is uh, two types. One is acute infective endocarditis, and uh, two is uh, sub subacute bacterial <coughs> endocarditis. There's two varieties. Acute infective endocarditis is more common uh, in uh, patients with uh, uh, septic abortions uh, or uh, any patient with uh, polytrauma with the uh, contamination of the sk skin uh, with the uh, dust. So, uh, this is uh, the introduction. Is, uh, it's a disease caused by microbial infection the heart wall, native or prosthetic valves uh, can be affected <coughs> like mitral stenosis mitral regurgitation and any other or valvular lesions in the heart either congenital or uh, acquired uh, uh, <coughs> valvular lesions the lining of cardiac chamber of uh, blood vessels uh, also get inflamed so patients with uh, congenital anomalies are more prone to develop uh, bacterial infections like uh, hmm, all uh, bacteria the delicate cell group or uh, chlamydial group or uh, fungus uh, all types of uh, bacteria can uh, infect uh, mostly the commonest uh, is uh, streptococcus viridans, staphylococcus uh, aureus or uh, very aggressive organisms which can uh, um, which can uh, involve the heart muscles mostly the endocardium so that is involved so and uh, the predilection lies with the high pressure jet of uh, blood area so that is uh, more important so whenever there is a flow of blood eating uh, the valve uh, at that site uh, usually the organisms uh, get uh, cropped up and proliferate um, right uh, <coughs> and proliferate make vegetation over the uh, area of uh, jet falling on the valve rings uh, or the cusps of the valves. The damaged endocardial sites impact the deposits of platelets and fibrin and which helps in the colonization of the organisms. The avascular valve tissue protect uh, proliferating organisms from host of defense mechanisms. When the infection is established, uh, vegetation is composed of uh, organisms uh, and uh, uh, brain and uh, platelets grow and uh, they become large and uh, cause obstruction or embolism. The pathophysiology of uh, the infected endocarditis which involves the adjacent tissues and destroys and forms uh, abscesses, small small abscesses over the valves and over the ring of uh, the valves or uh, the valve which can produce uh, valve regurgitation and uh, may damage the cusps and uh, make perforations and disruption of uh, cordae and may occur in these individuals, extra cordia manifestations such as vasculitis may result and the skin is also uh, involved due to emboli or immune complex deposition the mycotic aneurysms uh, may develop in an arteries uh, at the site of infected emboli so the microbiology uh, over three-fourths of uh, cases of uh, infective endocarditis, streptococci or staphylococci, 
the streptococcus viridans and the group streptococcus mitis, streptococcus sanguis, streptococcus pneumoniae and streptococcus pharyngeans. The commands hole in upper respiratory tract and the chewing or uh, uh, <coughs> chewing or uh, teeth brushing or uh, dental treatment or patient with uh, gingivitis uh, if you uh, vigorously blush it uh, brushes uh, which can uh, lead to bleeding and uh, through which uh, the transmission of uh, bacteria will gain entry into the body and uh, uh, results in the bacterial bacterial endocarditis then you have staphylococci the most common cause of uh, acute bacterial endocarditis uh, uh, especially in skin infections abscesses of uh, vascular access sites and intravenous and central lines if they have a highly virulent and invasive organism with a staphylococcus aureus then the microbiology the enterococcus fecalis and the enterococcus physium and streptococcus bovis and uh, bowel or urinary tract infections can also trap, go to the um, circulation and uh, gain entry into the heart and uh, results in endocarditis, streptococcus milleri, streptococcus bovis and uh, large bowel, neoplasm, staphylococcus epidermidis, <coughs> staphylococcal epidermidis. <coughs> And uh, coagul is negative, most causative agent for an artificial valve. And it's a normal skin comments all, staphylococcus epidermidis, can become virulent and uh, invade the heart, and uh, usually due to erroneous contamination. Staphylococcus epidermidis, staphylococcus uh, luden <coughs> ludenensis. Otherwise, normal heart. The microbiology. So, uh, still you have uh, so many organisms, coxiella, bonetti, and uh, which can produce Q fever and endocarditis, which is more common in farm animals and hepatic complications, and purpura and lifelong antibiotic therapy may be required. The assay group uh, Haemophila species. Acinobacillus, actinomycetemcobitans, uh, uh, and uh, Cordiobacterium hominis, Enchenella species, Kingella, uh, Kinge, Grom negative bacteria. These are all horse group. Hemophilus species, species Actinobacillus, Actinomycetini, Mucomitans and the Cordiobacterium hominis, Enchinella species and Kingella King, uh, Kinge, all these organisms uh, belong to Hasek group. So these also will produce, uh, the Brucella also can produce uh, uh, myocarditis, endocarditis. Uh, uh, such people will give history of contact with goats or cattle, or with the ingestion of uh, unpocherized milk uh, usually affects the brucella endocarditis affects the hyatic valve. The yeast and fungi is uh, candida and uh, usually occurs uh, in uh, prosthetic valves particularly in uh, immunocompromised patients. The etiology usually the etiology is uh, from the mouth by brushing and uh, taking care of uh, the oral hygiene is uh, very essential. Most of the streptococci or uh, the commensals uh, which are existing in the mouth. Then uh, prolonged uh, indwelling catheters intravenous and gut infection can also lead to mm, the enterococci gaining entry into the uh, circulation and uh, uh, native and prosthetic valve endocarditis uh, which we have already discussed and uh, 
uh, find a soft tissue infection is also present. So the nosocomial infective endocarditis. So the nosocomial infective endocarditis of 7 to 29 percent of all cases seen in tertiary referral hospitals at least uh, of uh, intravascular devices, large intravascular disease devices like uh, um, any huh, pacemakers, etc. Also, responsible. Other uh, genital urinary and uh, GIT procedures uh, when they do, or uh, procedures, gynecological procedures when they do, or surgical infections that also can uh, transmit the infection. The clinical features are severely or a more insidious subacute form. The clinical pattern is influenced not only by the organism but also site of infection, antibiotic therapy uh, should be given to all the patients uh, who are undergoing uh, um, urological procedures and gastroenterological procedures gynecological procedures like abortions uh, or any other uh, procedure so they should be given uh, uh, antibody supportive therapy and the presence of any valve or a shunt or a processes in the body is also uh, responsible for the development of uh, infective endocarditis. The subacute endocarditis uh, the history give is like uh, patient may give history of congenital or valvular heart disease and they have persistent fever and unusual tiredness, night sweats or weight loss and develop some new signs of uh, uh, valve dysfunction or heart failure and the uh, patient may develop particular and particular hemorrhages um, on the skin and sub <coughs> submucous uh, mucous membranes and which is uh, mostly due to the uh, transmission of uh, the bacterial uh, Ebola into the circulation and may get lodged uh, in the infected Ebola and may lodged in the submucous uh, tissues in the mouth conjunctiva and vagina and then a hand and canal etc. And the splinter hemorrhages uh, under uh, the fingernails uh, or toes may be present uh, which is uh, the splinter hemorrhages which are very commonly seen underneath the, uh, the nails uh, which are uh, usually infected uh, young eye that getting transmitted through the circulation. Uh, producing uh, splinter hemorrhages. Uh, if you take out that uh, uh, splinter hemorrhages and subject it for uh, culture and sensitivity which can be easily made out which are seen in the subconjunctival region it is uh, subacute endocarditis. The osseous bones are the painful tender swellings uh, at the fingertips and uh, vasculitis rare findings and the digital clubbing, late sign and uh, then uh, digital clubbing is a very late sign which needs at least uh, two to three weeks time to develop an acute uh, uh, endocarditis so you will not find clubbing uh, only uh, after two to three weeks of time. The osseous nodes are painful tender swellings uh, at the fingertips uh, usually they are very rare findings so um, I have seen only one or two cases and uh, they might be usually neglected cases uh, where they do not take care of patients with uh, rheumatic heart disease or congenital heart disease uh, and who do not uh, take the appointments very frequently that detected uh, so they are the people who suffer from uh, uh, subacuity endocarditis. So the microscopic hematuria is a very common finding which suggests uh, the microemboli going down to uh, the kidney and producing uh, uh, 
flea bitten kidney that's what we call it as because it makes a lot of uh, bites in the uh, kidney and which uh, leads to damage to the glomeruli blood vessels and leads to hematuria so any of these features with the persistent fever and malaise indication for uh, re-examination which detects uh, high and unrecognized heart disease sometimes uh, so very uh, rare these are the usually uh, these are the osseous nodes uh, which are uh, tender and uh, subcutaneous nodules uh, which are present so in a subacute endocarditis so the joint of lesions uh, are non tender erythematous hemorrhagic or capsula lesions uh, often on arms or soles which are present uh, or also infected uh, uh, thromboembolic phenomenon uh, uh, these are all the joint of lesions which are present the rough spots uh, are due to more many a times uh, the rough spots are due to the microemboli going to the retina and producing the um blockage and a hemorrhage with uh, uh, a pale center uh, or an infarct with pale center uh, is called um, sometimes they are called as boot shaped hemorrhages with paleness in the center uh, called uh, rod spots acute endocarditis acute endocarditis presents uh, as a severe febrile illness the prominent and the changing heart murmurs and the uh, petechiae the embolic events are common and the uh, cardiac or renal failure may develop rapidly the abscesses may be detected uh, on um, abscesses um, de de detected on an uh, echocardiography so partially treated uh, acute bacterial endocarditis behaves like uh, subacute uh, bacterial endocarditis the subacute form and may abruptly develop uh, acute bacterial endocarditis the post operative post operative endocarditis which is unexplained they have uh, usually unexplained fever immediate heart wall surgery or infection usually affects the valve drain resembles a bacterial or acute endocarditis can be differentiated on the basis of duke's criteria that is uh, the morbidity and mortality are very high and uh, redo surgery is often required uh, in patients who have vegetation so, so that is uh, the duke's criteria in a uh, world uh, 1994 the duke university standardized the criteria for assessing patient with uh, suspected endocarditis definite is uh, two major criteria one mi one major and three minor criteria five minor criteria the pathology and histology findings uh, which are responsible the possible is one major and one minor criteria three minor criteria <coughs> rejected is uh, the form alternate uh, diagnosis and resolution of manifestations of uh, infective endocarditis with uh, four days uh, antimicrobial therapy or yes so the form alternate diagnosis resolution of manifestations of infective endocarditis with uh, four days antimicrobial therapy or less the duke's uh, major criteria positive blood culture typical organism isolated from the cultures persistent positive blood cultures taken more than 12 hours apart three or more positive cultures taken over more than one hour endocardial involvement positive the uh, echocardiography findings uh, of um, demonstrating vegetation over the valves or uh, demonstrating a uh, new valvular regurgitations with the uh, um, 
very valuable uh, damage, valuable damage with uh, very valuable leakage. So the minor criteria is a predisposing valvular or uh, cardiac uh, abnormality, intravenous uh, uh, drug misuse, pyrexia more or equal to 30 degree centigrade, the embolic phenomenon, vasculitic uh, phenomenon, the blood cultures suggestive of organisms grown but uh, not achieving major criteria. The suggestive echocardiographic findings. Here you see all the findings uh, of uh, so the complications that you encounter the cerebral emboli and the stroke is about 15%, rot spots about 5% and petic hemorrhages 20 to 30%, poor dentition and uh, they may develop uh, um, uh, odontitis uh, uh, and that's uh, uh, damage to the teeth. Uh, and uh, they have a splenomegaly about 40 30 to 40 percent and uh, systemic emboli you can uh, make out and um, seven percent of patients uh, and um, digital clubbing will be present in 10 percent uh, long standing in 90 percent of course splinter hemorrhages are also present uh, loss of pulses uh, with uh, emboli also present and uh, then you find uh, uh, petechial hemorrhages over subcutaneous regions and the uh, oslenon and the hematuria will be present whenever there is involvement of the kidneys and the cardiac failure with uh, cardiac damage cardiac uh, endocarditis uh, and the valvulitis uh, and it may damage the calves and may damage uh, even uh, Interatrial and interventricular septum leading to EFT and VSD in this investigation. <coughs> these patients. The investigations are the blood culture. Identify the infection and the guide antibody therapy with the proper nature and sensitivity. Three to six sets of uh, blood cultures can be obtained. First two specimens will detect bacteremia in 90% of culture quality cases. Aseptic techniques is essential and risk of contaminants uh, should be minimized by sampling uh, from different uh, venipunctures uh, under the aseptic precautions uh, from different sites. And an indwelling line should not be used uh, to take cultures, aerobic and uh, anaerobic cultures are uh, required. So investigations are uh, the uh, echocardiography uh, detecting and uh, following the progress of vegetation, so assessing well damage and for detecting abscess formation and uh, small as small as uh, uh, 2 to 4 millimeters can be detected by trans thoracic echocardiography and even smaller ones, 1 to 1.5 millimeters can be visualized by transesophageal echocardiography. The valuable for identifying abscess formation and investigating patients with the prosthetic heart valves, sensitivity of a trans thoracic echo is approximately 65% but that of uh, trans is visually is more than 90 percent. The investigation, so the failure to detect uh, vegetation so it does not exclude the diagnosis of uh, infection and apparitis. So elevation of ESR, normocytic normotomic anemia, leukocytosis are common and variable. Um, the measurement of CM, CRP reliable than ESR in monitoring progress, proteinuria, cancer and uh, microscopic hematuria is usually present. The ECG development of uh, AV blocks and due to aortic root abscess formation and occasional infarction due to emboli can occur. 
chest x-ray may show evidence of cardiac failure and cardiac uh, cardiomegaly. The culture negative endocarditis 5 to 7 percent of patients with endocarditis will have sterile blood cultures and one year study from FAN the 44 of uh, ATR cases of uh, CNA negative cultures and were associated with the prior administration of antibiotic posterior or a non uh, culturable organism a non infective endocarditis with called uh, empirical therapy until culture strong. So the management uh, the case fatality is approximately 20% and even higher goes with prosthetic valve endocarditis. Infected with uh, antibiotic uh, or resistant uh, cases. Multidisciplinary approach with uh, cooperation between uh, the physician, and the surgeon and the bacteriologist and source of infection should be removed as soon as possible, both with an epithelopsis. Uh, should be extracted carefully under the coverage of antibiotics. So the management of uh, a case of uh, uh, infective endocarditis, empirical treatment uh, should be started uh, after sending the blood cultures on the mode of how the patient it depends on the mode of presentation and the suspected organism and whether the patient has any prostatic valve or penicillin allergy if any. So uh, should be taken into consideration and uh, acute uh, flu clopsus, uh, clopsus in, uh, and gentamicin are recommended in acute uh, uh, infective endocarditis. The subacute or indolent uh, presentation you can give benzoyl penicillin and gentamicin combination and then uh, penicillin allergy if they have a prosthetic valve or suspected methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus uh, MRSA infection triple therapy gentamicin, gentamicin and uh, oral rifampicin can be tried uh, with a great help uh, in uh, uh, decreasing uh, this signs and symptoms of uh, infective endocarditis. The management targeted therapy, the following identification of the causal organism, the determination of the minimum inhibitory concentration, two-week treatment regimen and may be sufficient for fully uh, sensitive strains of streptococcus viridans and streptococcus bovis the conditions to be met for the short course treatment of uh, streptococcus viridomes and streptococcus bovis and necroditis. The native valve infection and uh, the MIC is uh, less or equal to 0.1 mg per liter. No adverse uh, prognostic factors, example heart failure, aortic regurgitation and action defect no evidence of uh, thromboembolic disease, no vegetation, more than 5 millimeters in diameter. The clinical response within 7 days uh, occurs uh, in those patients uh, in this right table. The management, uh, the main, mainly it should be targeted therapy and uh, the streptococci, enterococci, the penicillin and amino glycosides, septraxone alone, and comycin plus amino glycosides, has a group, cefotoxin and septraxone, staphylococci, flucloxacin and amino glycosides, and vancomycin and amino glycoside and the pifamycin, and the plastic valves, flucloxacin, and portal amino glycoside and rifamycin, vancomycin and uh, amino glycoside and rifamycin can be tried. So the management, uh, the surgical management of this patient uh, uh, with the uh, <coughs> development of the infected material and valve replacement and uh, advisable uh, 
a substantial proportion of patients uh, and particularly those with staphylococcus aureus and fungal infections. The antimicrobial therapy must be started before surgery and indications for cardiac surgery should be given. The heart failure due to valve well and damage and failure of antibiotic therapy if it is persistent and which is not getting controlled. So then uh, the, in, the <coughs> surgical intervention is required. Then large visitations uh, on left sided heart valves with evidence of uh, high risk of system. So the management uh, that you know how to give uh, with the, uh, you see, Streptococcal viridons, uh, you have to give benzyl penicillin, gentamicin. So, if MIC is less than 0.5 milligrams, benzyl penicillin and gentamicin. So, dosage is uh, 1.2 grams uh, every fourth hourly. Benzyl penicillin and uh, gentamicin, 1 mg per kg body weight, 8 to 12 hours uh, should be given. MIC is 0.1 to less than 0.5 mg for uh, deciline uh, for liter then uh, 1.2 grams uh, uh, to <coughs> fourth hour length benzoyl penicillin 1 mg per kg body weight like uh, to 12 hourly um, gentamicin should be given so then you have enterococci the enterococcine uh, should be treated with uh, penicillin, ampicillin uh, if it is sensitive, they will give ampicillin IV 2 grams every 4th hourly for 4 weeks to 6 weeks. Any treatment lasts 4 to 6 weeks. The ampicillin resistant uh, drugs uh, you may have to give vancomycin IV is 1 gram and uh, 12 hourly and uh, gentamicin uh, IV and uh, 1 milligram per kg at 12 hourly and uh, 4 to 6 weeks time. The staphylococcal infection, penicillin sensitive, you give benzyl penicillin 1.2 grams 4 hourly for 4 weeks and to 6 weeks. And uh, then you have uh, penicillin resistant strains uh, and uh, methicillin resistant strains uh, where you need to give uh, vancomycin IV uh, one gram, one gram, one gram uh, twelve hourly, and then uh, four weeks uh, to six weeks. And uh, methicillin uh, resistant uh, gentamicin IV, one milligram per kg eight hourly, four weeks uh, to six weeks. The complications of endocarditis, uh, the cardiac complications are uh, congestive cardiac failure and valvular damage. More common with aortic valve endocarditis and uh, infection beyond the valve leads to congestive cardiac failure, have, which leads to high mortality and morbidity. And um, they, are, they do need of surgery. And uh, AV fascicular uh, or uh, atrioventricular fascicular uh, or bundle branch blocks uh, may result and. Uh, they may even develop pericarditis and uh, cardiac tamponade and uh, cardiac fistulae and uh, rupture of uh, the SD uh, uh, atrial septum and ventricular septum can also result. The systemic emboli, the risk depends on valve, the mitral more than the aortic valve. The size of vegetation uh, more if it is higher, high risk. Uh, if it is more than 10 millimeters uh, in diameter. 20 to 40 percent of patients with endocarditis and uh, risk decreases and once appropriate antimicrobial therapy started. <coughs> the mortality depends on uh, the depends on organism and the presence of complications and uh, pre-existing uh, comorbidities uh, in the patient and development of perivalvular myocardial abscesses 
The use of combined antimicrobial and surgical therapy may be of uh, great value uh, in this patient. The mortality is uh, Streptococca viridon, Streptococci and Streptococca bovis as 4 to 16 percent, Enterococca 15 to 25 percent, Streptococcus aureus 25 to 47 percent, Q fever 5 to 37 percent, 17 percent in Ireland, Pseudomonas aeruginosa fungi and Enterobacteriaceae more than 50 percent. The overall mortality and the morbidity is about 20 to 25 percent. The next sided endocarditis is about 10 percent, which is more common in patients uh, who are uh, drug addicts uh, who share the needles uh, among uh, their group uh, is very essential. The prevention of uh, infective endocarditis, uh, prevention of inter, uh, endocarditis. Is the antimicrobial prophylaxis is given to a uh, risk patient uh, when bacteremia inducing uh, procedures or performed and then a prophylactic regimen uh, targeted against likely organism like Streptococcus viridans, oral respiratory, esophageal enterococcus, uh, genitourinary gastrointestinal uh, procedures, staphylococcus aureus and infected skin and uh, mucosal surfaces, dental procedures. The recent research has uh, not been proven to be effective, the prophylaxis and uh, some believe in it, some do not and uh, the link between episodes of infective endocarditis uh, and uh, interventional uh, procedures has not been uh, demonstrated and so antibody prophylaxis is no longer offered routinely for defined interventional procedures. Prevention the procedures. See, the dental procedures are known to produce bleeding and uh, tonsillectomy, surgery involving GI, respiratory mucosa, esophageal uh, dilatation, ERCP for obstruction, gallbladder surgery, cystoscopy, urethral dilatation and uh, urethral catheter if infection and uh, present and urinary tract surgery including prosthetic surgery and uh, incision and drainage and infected abscesses and prevention the underlying lesion. <coughs> high risk patients, uh, high risk religions like patients who are on prostatic valves and uh, prior uh, infective endocarditis, cyanotic congenital heart disease, PDA, yeah, and aortic regurgitation, RT stenosis, mitral regurgitation, mitral stenosis. VSD, co-optation of aorta, surgical systemic pulmonary shunts. The intermediate, these are all the patients who are at high risk. Intermediate risk is a <coughs> mitral valve prolapse with murmur, cure my, mitral stenosis, tricuspid uh, disease, pulmonary stenosis and uh, Asymmetric septal hypertrophy, bicuspid artery valve with uh, no hemodynamic significance. So, so these are all uh, the, uh, this is, uh, this ends uh, the infective endocarditis disease. And then now uh, you have, uh,